Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about sertilizumab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website, www.roominfo.com, and print off one of our sertilizumab picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Sertilizumab is also known as Simsia. Sertilizumab is taken by an injection under the skin just once every two weeks. A nurse can teach you how to give the injections, and a friend or family member can also help with your injections. Some people can feel better quite quickly after starting sertilizumab, but for others, it can take a little longer. There are three things you need to do when taking sertilizumab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, sertilizumab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking sertilizumab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, before starting sertilizumab, you should have a skin test and chest x-ray to make sure you've never had an infection called tuberculosis before. And finally, you should have occasional blood tests while taking sertilizumab. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and make sure your blood counts are okay. Sertilizumab can rarely cause a reaction at the injection site. Now these usually aren't a big problem. Sertilizumab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Sertilizumab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Patients have very rarely developed conditions of the nervous system and the immune system while taking medications like sertilizumab. You should discuss this with your doctor. And finally, medications like sertilizumab have been rarely associated with the development of cancer. Let your doctor know if you've had cancer before. If you're taking sertilizumab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason at all. For sertilizumab, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.